Um, we've seen that a uh, lot of technologies like internet, Facebook, Google, have transformed how we live today. Obviously, technology does transform lives, makes it easier. We would like to do the same thing for the government. That is what the committee is intending to do. And we, we plan to do that through collaboration. Not everybody knows everything. So we want to have great minds to come together, collaborate together to serve our government. So it's about citizens serving the government. And then I will call in Dr. Jim Jalaman. He also holds a very responsible position at the GTF, which is university relations. And uh, there's a little bit uh, background about uh, Jim. Jim is uh, the CEO of um, VI Strategy Group. And uh, he is also a Gen fa faculty member at the University of Illinois, Chicago, at the Department of Information and uh, Decision Sciences. He has had successful career in industry as a CEO of both public sector and private technology companies. He received PhD from Case Western Reserve University and his MBA is from University of Minnesota. Extensive experience in not-for-profit sector serving as the, on the boards of Tech America, ITA, Chicago Engineers. Okay, we'll go back. He serves on the advisory board of several graduate business schools and on the boards of several private companies they were going to have the presentation about the awards that we have. So simply because of the time, don't uh, ignore and see Mrinali later on for technology. And here comes Jim. Thanks, Poonam. I'm going to take one second. <laughs> well, we've talked a lot about the public sector. We've talked a lot about the private sector. Um, what we haven't talked about are universities. We have Cynthia here from UIC. And um, two-legged stool doesn't stand. Universities are the third leg, found, form the foundation of GTF. Um, universities can participate in a number of ways. A uh, key source of providing research, developing innovative technologies, as well as um, users of those technologies. UIC is a public institution as well. Um, so there are other committees. You saw the slide with all the committees listed earlier. They're listed in the program. We would encourage all of you to grab us, go online, grab Poonam, and um, the organization will survive if the committees are active and successful. So I would encourage everyone to participate in the committees. And I just made 10 minutes into one, thanks. <laughs> so the nomination for the awards will be open from May 1st to July 1st. And uh, if you are connected with the GTF website, you would get the notification so you can actually nominate the stars. So um, next, I think I'd like to introduce um, Aditya Nath. Aditya Nath, or as he's called here, Eddie Nath. I still cannot get, him, get to call him Eddie Nath yet. Um, he has led various different companies, entrepreneur, he's, he's a great entrepreneur. He's been uh, leading various different companies for over 20, 25 years, supported government uh, with various technologies and uh, supported them with uh, business intelligence and transforming uh, workflows and um, improving the operations, not only for government, but also for a lot of public sectors. So uh, here is Aditya. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great start. I would want to call my partner here in crime, Dr. Richard Powell. Thank you, Eddie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm, I've been told that I've got 60 seconds, so I'm going to try to make it in 45. As I said, my name is Richard Powell. I am a, a member of the board, uh, advisory board. I'm also the chairman of the Government Technologies uh, Special Interest Committee. The Special, special Interest Committee is uh, the oversight organization for special interest groups that we are in the process of organizing. And these special interest groups are chartered by uh, GTF to give the members with similar professional specialties the opportunity to exchange ideas and keep themselves informed about the current and discrete developments in their field. 
Um, I'm not going to go off into the specific charter. You can see me after uh, the event or during the VIP session. We can talk in more detail. But some of these special groups that we've already identified are master data management, security, audit, and control, hypertext and the web, enterprise applications and shared services, social informatics, networks, and telecommunications training. Uh, and technology training, something that gets overlooked a lot, especially in change management situations, which we're all familiar with. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to Eddie, and he's going to talk about membership and sponsorship. Thank you, Dr. Powell. So here, here is the thing. You know, they talked about three, three legs of the stool, right? The, the academ academia, public sector, the private sector. But what makes it all happen? It's money. You need support, you need sustainability of the great noble purpose that you're here to, to support every day. So with that, I wanna just share with you sort of the, uh, the philosophy of, uh, of raising money for this organization. Number one, your contribution will be part of a mission. Mission to improve the life of all the citizens in our community and in our society. By helping the government use technology in a much more effective and efficient manner, I think we're gonna all help ourselves. So it is a mission-driven uh, contribution and support that I'm seeking from you. I also would like to tell you that we have created a structure that is very inclusive, meaning that your small business, large business, or an individual, you will have an opportunity to participate, and I'll show you in a second all those different opportunities. And finally, like any business, ROI. ROI is extremely important. We guarantee you will get the exposure, you will get the, the value from your investment in this noble cause. So I, I humbly ask for your support, and I will be calling all of you, and I thank all the sponsors, so don't, uh, don't you know, X me out on your cell phones, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> or put me in your spam bucket, because I will be calling you and I will be chasing you down. <laughs> So we have, as you can see, a number of levels, a lifetime architect. And so I've broken it out into two different categories for companies that are larger and smaller companies. Each one of 